You are live. Hi, everyone. Let me pull up YouTube and verify. We're just making sure it's working because we're using a different thing than we normally do to go live. We haven't gone live in so, so long. It is live. Oh, so that's it did put a random thumbnail. Sorry. Too. We haven't gone live. Oh. <laughs> hi, everyone. Welcome. Come on in. Let's hang out. Um, hi, Tootie. Hi, Brian. Oh, they have Hot Wheels store and we don't hear oh and I, okay so they do have a hot wheels store in like one of the local malls here and it's so fun like you buy a hot wheels and then you get to race it right there and it's i don't know it's a good sign That's good sign. cool okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just like start and yeah explain so you guys are probably thinking today was gonna go um ariana's anesthesia reaction video and and that was the plan and I mean, originally when it was like being filmed or even like in that moment. And then as I was watching through the footage and I was editing and everything, you guys noticed yesterday's video, it was like, I cut off the end part and I was like, okay, maybe I'll make it a second video. And everyone's like, yeah, I'll make it a second video. Um, it got edited and I watched it several times and there was just something that I didn't feel right about. And um, I had everybody in our house watch it. I mean, Ariana watched it over and over. Um, and also like Hallie and Hannah. And I don't know, I was just like, everyone watch this. Max, watch this. Tell me what you think. And everyone's like, it is so funny. Like, I love it. Um, people are going to laugh. And I don't know, like, I got a really good response from everyone in our household. And then um, I actually sent the footage to a friend of mine who has a bigger channel. And I was like, hey, here's the video. Something doesn't sit right. Like, I want to get your opinion. And they watch the video and they're like, oh, my gosh, this is a viral video. Like, so funny. And I was like, I still just don't, I don't know. And I think maybe because I was the one in the moment with Ariana and to see your child hurting and just to see them go through that and just her being hysterics and just everything in the situation, I didn't find it funny. And I know like I've watched anesthesia videos before and I'm like, oh my gosh, so funny. And like, I can't believe they said that and all of those kind of things. But as I was watching it, I was like, I don't feel that way. And I know everyone else feels that way, but I don't feel that way. And something with this channel, like obviously a lot of our videos are family memories and things that I want the kids to go back and watch and enjoy and like great grandchildren and great great grandchildren to really know, you know what I mean? Like what we went through in our times and that documentation is huge. Also to inspire people to adopt. And that's a huge passion of ours, as you guys know, and especially adopting teens. And it's not as scary as everybody, you know, makes it out to be. And just, I don't know, there's so many different things I have with this channel. Um, but one thing that I've always stayed true to is I really want to stay true to ourselves. And I would never put a video up that I didn't feel good about. Or, I mean, sometimes things make it in edits that I was like, oh, no, that made it. <laughs> so things like that, obviously. But I've never put a video out that I'm like, oh, my gosh, like, why would I do that? And this is the first video where I feel like not good about. And so um, I've talked to Ariana about it, how I'm feeling. And she was like, no, you can put it out. Like, it's funny. It's OK. And I'm like, I don't feel that way, though, as a mom and going through that. Um, I do think awareness is huge. I think that the situation was handled wrong where they, for those of you who didn't see the video yesterday, they brought Ariana out from getting her wisdom teeth removed and they put her in the car and I, and it scared me. I was like, is she ready? Is she like, and I was going through all these emotions and she was like, I just want my mom and want to be home. And I'm like, okay, let's get home as fast as we can. And so Aurora just walked in the room. If you see her popping this, like, hey, Aurora. Oh, <laughs> she's not having it. Um, so anyways, then I was like, let's just get home. And I had the camera to the side the whole time. So like the conversation was filmed, but it was like, I don't know. I just, she was in hysterics and it was just different than I thought that it was going to be funny and cute to be a part of. And I, I don't know. So anyways, the things I learned, 
Never put them in the front seat ever, ever. Um, always put them in the back seat. Child safety lock. Child locks safety lock. Key. Like, even if your kid is calm, you never know what they're going to do when they're put under anesthesia like that. So definitely that. The other thing is to bring somebody with you. And I know if you're a single mom, single dad, whatever, find a family friend, a grandparent, a who call me and I'll go with you. <laughs> but no, bring somebody with you. And that is like huge and so important. The other thing is to advocate for your kids. I know COVID has changed a lot of things and they didn't let me go back in the room. Like I got to go back in the room for the initial consultation and then they kicked me out of the room and they're like, go sit like in your car. Like you could sit in the waiting room, but they're like, you can get in your car and pull around the side and that's where we bring them out. So I feel like that was a COVID thing that they were like, okay, even after they wake up, they didn't allow me to go into the room and allow her the time to recover. So putting her into the car when she was still so distressed was really, really difficult. And to drive, and I had a 45-minute drive home. I did call Aaron on the way home, and I'm like, here's what's going on. I don't know what to do. Like, I was like. minutes away, so it's not like. Yeah. And it was where we were. There was a lot of traffic and construction and all of that. I mean, I did pull over and made sure she had her seatbelt and made sure she was safe as far as that goes. But. I don't know. So anyways, telling Ariana, she was like, I still want to put the footage up. So she might put it up on her own channel. I told her I don't want it on our family channel. I just, there's something I don't feel right about it. There was some funny parts when we got home. Oh, a huge thank you to, what is this one? Uh, Miss oh, Davenport. oh, Miss Davenport. Davenport. Missy Davenport. A whole lot of questions. She put, will you be sharing or will Melinda be sharing about her wedding? Okay. so. There was a, a video, and we'll explain it in another thing, but yeah, it's a long story, put into short. So um, anyway, so Ariana wants to maybe put it on her channel, and I don't know um, if I'm even advising her to do that, and I'm like, I don't know. She is 18 in a few months, and she knows and understands this world. She's super strong and just super understands everything but i just i don't know there were some funny parts and i'm like maybe you cut it out and do like a little reaction on you know the different parts i think that would be really funny and that would be okay but um i don't know um i know there was a couple of questions that came across ah in the Oh, Kayla passed out after having her wisdom teeth. Oh, that was the other thing. It's everyone's like, I don't understand because in my country, they don't put you that far under anesthesia. Um, Ariana's were impact. Her She had all four removed and they were impacted. And so uh, she's and still in the bone and like still in. So they had to cut into her gum. She actually has stitches inside and pull the tooth out the side of the gums. So she did have to be completely, completely under. It wasn't like when I got mine taken out, um, they just gave me some numbing shot and some laughing gas and pulled them on out. But it wasn't like that. You know what I mean? For her. Um, oh, Rachel, Rachel said, I'm surprised so many people thought it was funny. I know. I mean, even every anesthesia video I've watched, I'm like, oh my gosh, so funny. But I think it's different when you're going through it. Absolutely. And maybe as a mom, I felt differently because it was like my child. But I don't know. I didn't find that part funny. But everybody else in, that watched it thought, thought it was funny. Um, it's okay not to share, Patty. Our oh, Sam King, my brother, went under anesthesia not too long ago. He came home and was throwing up and having a hard time. Oh my gosh, the comments are going so fast. It keeps like flipping. Um, so Tara Billington, thank you so much. She found our channel through Crazy Middles. We love Crazy Middles. Um, I just want to say how much I love both your channels. Shows people that there are good foster care families. Sadly, not all are good. And how to be good foster parents. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think that it's, the, you know, fostering sometimes isn't always the easiest, but it is one of the most rewarding things and Absolutely. it can be very difficult and unfortunately there are some that aren't in it for the right reason so that yeah. is sad yeah. um i just want to read a few more of your comments love you guys everyone reacts differently differently to anesthesia always go with your gut instinct crystal i 
agree. And going into this, um, I didn't know. I guess because I've only seen the funny videos on YouTube and nobody has talked about the bad. Nobody has talked about their kid trying to jump out the door. But so many people messaged me yesterday and I got emails and all kinds of stuff. Don't put your doorbell. She, she has a little dollhouse and has a doorbell on it. <laughs> your doll is going to have to knock and not hearing the doorbell. <laughs> um, but nobody talks about the bad of it. No one talks about how scary it can be and how dangerous. And the messages and emails that I got, one, um, their child had autism. And they put him in the back seat with the child lock. And then they started kicking their seat and like this whole thing. And it was hard for them to drive home. Driver, and like, yeah. oh my gosh, like I just didn't, I didn't know the bad side to it because everyone just shows the funny. So I hope that you guys all learn like from my experience that it's not all fun and games. Like it's not, it's not at all. It's not what it is. So, um, Oh, piano adventures! First time I've caught a live video. We haven't done many live videos. Okay, we haven't done it since like St. John's House. Let us know. Do you guys like this? Yeah, because we can have like. I guess my other thing with going live, what I was nervous about. Um, a huge thank you to Kendra Bickington. Um, she's been watching us for so long and an inspiration. Oh, thank you. That's so much, Kendra. Or so nice, Kendra. Um, I was nervous that my foster kids would walk in the background, which is why we haven't gone live in so long. Because I was nervous, like, what if they walk in and we're live and we're like, click? <laughs> yeah, so, but I told them not to come in the room, but yeah. They might still come in here. Might have to click out. Um, a huge thank you to Jenny Allen for the super chat. Um, thank you for showing the world what loving and stable family should look like. You are all lucky to have found one another. That's so nice. Dorset, That's Kingdom. so nice. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. And then that was. Okay. I think you're adding to the list. I think, yeah. Sorry, we... guys. We're, we're trying out this new thing and it's, it's different different than what we've seen before so we do have some exciting videos even though you guys won't get to see that reaction i mean you might get to see it on ariana's channel if she chooses to do that but um this week ariana this is a little sneak peek ariana and hallie both have their first job interviews so we're super excited ariana actually has her job interview in a couple of hours um, so that video will be coming out tomorrow. I've already filmed part of it, like getting them ready, but I, we don't know if she got the job or not yet. So you have to tune in tomorrow to see if she did or not, which I'm super excited about. And then what else do we have going on this week? Our new foster daughter is starting a sport. So we're excited about that. She's actually going to be doing softball. Um, I don't know why the calendar change comes to mind. <laughs> we literally have physically right out of I'm going to have to show you guys my calendar sometime because you guys will be like, uh. Uh, one other super fun thing is I've been reading a new book and wait, hold on. We got to say our thank yous. Maria Morgan, thank you so much for the super chat and ABC. Thank you so much. Um, Oh my gosh, this person had a seizure under anesthesia. That worries me if Ari, if Aurora ever needs to go under anesthesia. Um, I had mine down. I couldn't remember who had my baby. Oh, that's so, that's her Nancy Marshall. That's really scary. And then Eric Lee, I've not seen the video yet as I'm oh, a huge fear of the dentist. Okay, dentists aren't scary. I think just she was released too soon. Is Hannah going to do homeschool? Oh, it flipped. I wanted to read that one. Uh, okay, someone asked if Ariana was going to, or Hannah was going to do homeschool. She is not. She is enjoying being in person, and she's making lots of friends and having a good time with that. So she will not be um, being homeschooled. Uh, Jay Riley, do you guys support the LGBTQ plus community? Yes, we do. Yes. We're we huge advocates. Yes, we. Um, I actually was a surrogate for a gay dad, and he was the most incredible person I met. And uh, yeah, he has a super happy, beautiful child now. Um, that we were in 
Yeah, we can't say his name. Um, how's Ariana doing? She's actually doing really, really well. She's sitting in the background right now. Are you doing? She is still really swollen. She says good. Because of those stitches and everything, I think it's going to take quite a few days. Um, you guys will see in the video that she has to go to a job interview with a swollen face. So I feel so bad for her, but she's feeling really good and doing really good. It looks a lot better. Um, yeah, I think she looks really good. But huge thank you to Brianna Yop. Um, I've put on her a few times and I've always had bad reactions. It's nice to see someone share the scary times because it isn't all fun and games. At least you will be better prepared next time. 100%. I didn't know there was a bad side. Like, obviously I knew, but I didn't know that it would, could be that bad. So now I know from future, like, be prepared under, tell the doctors but that. if any of the kids have to go through sure. it like we will be prepared like up front like i won't be by myself thinking and that's my other thing that i really struggle with is i always feel that i can handle and do everything and i need to rely on him more i need to rely on everybody like i'm just always like to be strong and like to be like oh i can handle it you know what i mean it's just it's one thing that i'm working on with myself but <sighs> okay so i we're I'm going to go help Ariana do her hair and get ready for her job interview. So we are going to go ahead and end the live now, but thank you guys so much for joining us. I'm sorry that, I don't know, this week didn't turn out like we all had expected and we didn't, you know, I don't know. A uh, huge thank you to Marie Mongan again. Would you ever consider adopting a fan if they were in need of a family? That is a good ending question, actually, to end this with. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if the situation was right. I don't know. I think right now we're not, like, looking into adopting more. I mean, we're adopting the three that we have in our home. But um, adoption's done. I think we're done for a little while. Yeah. Maybe permanently. I don't know. <laughs> we never know. I we always so. say, I think that we're done adopting. I think so. But. I don't know. If a situation came up that obviously felt right to us, then we would change that. So, <sighs> okay. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us, and we will see you guys tomorrow Have to see if the girls day. get their jobs. So, yes. pray for them. First jobs. Yeah. Send them good thoughts, positive <laughs> energy. Love you guys. Bye.